I have a new battery I'm gonna test today. This is the Hildo 3S 60C LiPo. A big thank you to Hildo for sending this battery out to me for testing. Now this is a budget friendly battery. It costs under $40. It came in a two pack, but under $40 per battery. And what I'm gonna do today is test this in my Traxxas Bandit VXL. Now this Bandit has very aggressive gearing in it. Um, it should go well over 80 miles an hour with this Hildo battery. So this would be a great way to really put a high load on this battery. This car will be drawing over 100 amps of current. And I've done a lot of battery testing in the past. Link in the video description where I've tested nine different 3S batteries, similar in size to this Hildo here in great detail. Not only speed runs, but also capacity testing, internal resistance, and other parameters, uh, which you guys may find really interesting. Now today, I'm gonna run it against this Ovonic 3S 5250C battery. Take the C ratings with a grain of salt. They're pretty much all made up by manufacturers. They don't mean a whole lot. Um, I've tested batteries with a 50C rating, actually a 35C rating that blow away other batteries rated at 100 C. So always take those with a grain of salt. But later on, I will do more testing on this battery. I'll run it through all the same tests that I put the Sovonic and those other nine LiPos through. But today we're focusing mainly, completely on speed runs. So first I'll run the Ovonic and we'll get a baseline. I think this one will probably go around 85 miles an hour, give or take. And then we'll put this Hildo in there and see how it compares. And then when I get back home, I will compare speeds with the other nine batteries uh, and see where this Hildo likely would have fallen. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and see if this Hildo battery is the real deal. I have the GPS cleared out and it's registering. Hopefully it'll continue to register today. I'll go ahead and get this car buttoned up. We'll see what happens. Nice and stable. That's encouraging. My heart's beating like out of my chest. Uh, just so much time's gone into this and uh, don't want to wreck it. But that was a really stable run. The car's never felt more stable at speed. And let's see what kind of speed the Ovonic got. All right, it was down on performance today. 79.5. Let me go ahead and run this one more time just to make sure that uh, that was a good and real result. All right, let's see what kind of speed we got out of this Avonic battery. 81.5. So I'm going to go ahead and let this car cool down for a minute or two. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the Hildo battery. All right, this is the first time I've ever charged the Hildo this morning, so it may get a little quicker with time. One issue I have with this battery that I'm noticing right away, though, is the battery leads come right out of the side of the battery, the end of the battery there. Every other battery I've tested that I can recall has the battery leads coming out of the top. So this creates an issue for me getting the battery seated in the car properly. It's not going to fit because those wires are in the way. So definitely, Hildo, I recommend that you change the location of those battery leads. But I'm going to go ahead and get it in here the best I can and we'll give it a rip. All right, I have the GPS zeroed out with the Hildo in the car and it's registering. Let's see what the Hildo 5300 Ma 60C battery can do. This 
The Hildo 5300 3S. Can we beat 81 miles an hour? Yes, we can. 83.5 miles an hour. A good showing. Let's see how this Hildo 3S 5300 60 Ma battery performed. 83.6 miles an hour. Not a bad showing at all. Definitely outperformed the Ovonic. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and compare it not only to my budget friendly 3S batteries I've tested in the past, but I'll also compare it to the uh, high performance batteries I've tested. And we'll get an idea where this one would fall uh, compared to those. The performance of the Traxxas Bandit VXL was lacking today. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, it was running really hot and it was four miles an hour slower than the last time I was out here. This battery went 85 miles an hour last time, but today I ran two runs and 81 miles an hour was the best it could do. And the Hildo battery performed better. This battery reached 83, over 83 miles an hour. Two runs were within one tenth of a mile an hour of each other. I think it was 83.5 and 83.6 miles an hour. So clearly it was a little faster than the Savonic, which is really encouraging. And uh, I'll do more testing on this in the future. And like I mentioned, I will uh, do a quick clip in this video where I compare this battery to the other nine that I tested in the past. So Hildo, I think this battery performs well when compared to other budget friendly batteries, but these battery leads are an issue and this is gonna make it not fit well in certainly the Traxxas two wheel drive cars and I imagine other cars as well. It may fit just fine in your RC, but take a look at your car before you consider purchasing this battery and make sure that you're not gonna run into uh, clearance issues like I did. A big thank you to Hilda for sending this battery out to me. It performed well when compared to other budget-friendly batteries and look for more videos in the future with more in-depth testing. All right, that's all for now. Please like and subscribe and take care till the next one all right here's a screenshot from my channel a link is in the video description where you can find this video where i tested nine different 3s batteries against one another they all were similar to the hildo 5300 in capacity and i ranked them from overall worst performance to best performance and as you can see the ovonic was one of my or really the worst performing battery of all the ones I tested. Now I have tested several more 3S batteries since I put together this spreadsheet and I'm going to revamp this in the next uh, several weeks. So I'll have a more powerful SMC and I'll also have some more powerful Lapeerier ones which will um, actually beat the best battery I previously tested. But this is what I have for now to share with you folks just to give you an idea of how the batteries I tested today compared. And you also see here that the um, battery weights are listed. And typically the heavier a battery, the better it's gonna perform, everything else being equal. So not all these are hard cases and that skews the weights, but the Hilda was over 20 grams heavier than the Ovonic, which was a really good sign and it um, did outperform it. Now, the last thing I wanna show here is the top speeds. As you can see, with this gearing setup, the Avonic hit 71.1 miles an hour on a typical run, and the Hilda was over two miles an hour faster than the Avonic. So that would place it down in this general area here. Uh, with these batteries that were like 73 miles an hour. So this is a 
RC power battery. This is a Luperior endurance battery. So these are all my more budget friendly batteries and it compared very well against these. Now the Saipom, I don't think you can find it anymore. This was my best performing budget battery I've ever tested. It punched way above its weight class. But as you can see here, the SMC was five miles an hour faster than the Ovonic, and this Luperior battery was six miles an hour faster than it. So compared to other budget-friendly batteries, the Hildo performed pretty good, and these prices here are kind of outdated. The Hildo goes for, uh, I think it was like $37, $38 per battery. It comes in a two-pack. The Ovonic's close to 40 now as well. So in general, these more budget-friendly batteries are going to be in that $30 to $40 range, whereas the higher performance ones are going to be a bit more expensive. All these prices have gone up as well. So I'll update that on my next um, video I do with a comprehensive testing, and I'll have maybe 12 batteries that I'll compare against each other. Mm -hmm.